Hello friends, welcome to Joy of Life. So today we are going to uh, take a look at another medium level problem from lead code. The problem number is 102. So it's a binary tree level order traversal. So it is um, just like uh, in order traversal or pre-order or post-order. Uh, level order tra traversal is also a very important traversal and it solves many problems. So I think I, I have only done three or four videos in this channel wherein we uh, needed to work on the level order traversal. So I thought of taking this up and creating a video where I will go in much more detail, solve uh, your doubts and queries, what we are doing, why we are doing, how we are doing, and uh, also take some complex examples and test cases and cover them up. Right. So let's go and um, check out the description. So it says, given the root of a binary tree, return the level order traversal of it nodes values that is from left to right and level by level. Okay, so if you see uh, this tree over here, the given tree over here, it has multiple levels, right? So we have level one, we have level two and level three. And each of the level has uh, different nodes. So here we have three, here we have nine and 20, here we have 15 and seven, right? So these are nothing but a list of numbers, right? It, you can have one or more values, right? At every level, right? So these are nothing but lists. So here you can see that we have multiple values. Here also you can see that we have multiple values, right? So basically what we are doing, we are printing from left to right. So we are coming down from top to bottom and we are printing from left to right, right? As uh, it's mentioned over here. So uh, as you see that we, we have multiple lists over here. So it is evident that we'll have a multiple list. So we will have n list at the end of this uh, each input right where n is the depth of the tree right if there are 10 levels in the tree then you'll have 10 list right and you need to return them back so what you'll do you will put them inside another list and you will send it back right so um, we'll uh, check out the solution we'll understand the problem in details but as i always recommend do give it a try so many of you must be already working with trees so it's very easy for you guys i know that you'll be able to solve it in minutes and uh, if you are new to tree don't worry you are in the right place you will understand all the details of what is a level order traversal what we are doing why we are doing and how to do it so at the end of this video you will uh, get a good understanding of the level order traversal and you will never ever face a problem where the solution requires a level order traversal so uh, do check out the video there is uh, if you are new to tree there is nothing to worry just check it out everybody has a first time so don't worry about it just uh, continue watching the video so over to the board and let's see the solution so i have taken a tree over here which is uh, having a lot of nodes some um, Edge cases also have added that uh, we have some uh, single nodes. The tree is a little skewed on the right. So I have tried to uh, add everything over here. Okay, so let's understand a few things first. So uh, first we talk about the level first. So this is my level one. This is my level two. So we have uh, seven levels over here, one through seven. And uh, for each of the for each of the level, we have certain nodes, right? So let's put down those nodes over here. So for the first level, we have only one node that is seven. For the second level, we have a uh, couple of them, 10 and 12. So this is what it is, right? This is how the tree looks. So we have seven levels with different uh, values at each of the level, right? So just to understand this problem, so what do we what do we say when we say level order traversal? So we should go level by level and we should go till the depth of the tree to find out all the nodes and have to preserve them in a list, right? So first we understand a few things. So few hints that's given to us over here is we should uh, make good use of it that we will be given the root of the tree, right? And root is at level one that I know, right? So root belongs to this level. And this level, I don't know about any other level, but for this level, what I know is that this can, level can have only one single node, right? And that's being passed to us. So number of nodes in this level is one and uh, root is seven, right? So let's say this is my current level. So let's maintain it over here. So my current level is one. So I know whatever node belong to this level, their child, constitute of the next level right so let's say these are my elements right let's keep a track of it element is seven i know at this uh, level at level one there will be only one node and that is the root node which is seven right so we have mentioned that so moving on when i move to the next level that is the level two the rule is that 
the previous level so current level minus one whatever node was present in that level all of their child's direct child level uh, next level child not the child of child right constitute of the next level so seven has two nodes right that is 10 and 12 so my next level will have nothing but 10 and 12 okay similarly when i move on i move to three so i know that the third level will have all the childs of 10 and 12 right so we'll will have three five nine see all these are nothing but the childs of 10 and 12 put together right so this is how that entire algorithm goes so what we need we need to store whatever the childs are and have it for the next level right i have created a queue over here we will uh, come to it via queue so just uh, just try to understand the properties of a queue right so the properties of the queue the important property is that the element that goes in first comes out first first in first out right so it will be enqueued from here and it will be dequeued from here right so i know that whatever i'll put in first will come out first right so what happens is what i have i have the root of the tree so let me say that i am putting that inside my queue so i put this seven this node seven over here inside the queue and then i start to do the um, iteration so i should iterate until i have nothing more to process right so so we will be iterating until the queue becomes empty right so what happens over here is i know that the queue is not empty there is an element inside it because we have put the root of the uh, tree inside it right so whatever is present inside the queue at this moment is the number of node that belong to this level right so just see how this uh, so just see how this uh, formula will start making a sense so i can say that size is nothing but q size right because initially i have only one element and i'll be iterating over the queue so this variable size it will help us to know that how many element belongs to this uh, level so we'll see why we need this variable down the line right so we will start iterating from zero to the size so now what i got in my sizes so let's maintain those variable states over here so let's say i am maintaining size so i got a size of one so this loop over he here will be iterating just only one time right because the size is one so what we'll do basically is we are going to take out whatever is present in the queue so we are going to say we will pull the queue so the moment we pull the queue so let's maintain ele as well over here so the moment we pull the queue we will get a seven this node seven right not the integer seven we are keeping the nodes so this will be popped out because we have done a pull so we have made the queue empty we have taken things out of the queue so now what i'm going to do is now i got the element which is a node right not an integer once again so what we are going to do now is we are going to add to the queue so we will be adding le dot left and then le dot right into the queue so what will basically happen at this stage is we will add both the childs of the node 7 right so node 7 has two child 10 and 12 so we are going to add them back to the queue so 10 and 12 do keep in mind this order is important since we have been given a constraint that we have to do top to bottom and left to right so make sure that you add the left first and then the right because when you want to take out then the left element should come out first before the right element so you should maintain that order and so what's going to happen let's look at this now so this loop was supposed to be iterating one time right and it is done iterating one time so it has popped out one element and had, uh, it has added two elements back to the queue okay so now moving on we go to the top of the queue again we come to uh, come at this level and we ask for the size so we get a size that is two so now this loop will go on for two times so we are going to get the elements out of it so uh, first element we get out is a, is a 10 from the queue so we'll get the 10 out and we'll be adding 10s left and the right uh, uh, childs right so we'll be adding three first and then we are going to add five not five and three keep in mind we have to maintain the order left to right so now at this point you see we have three elements in the stack right and if we don't have this size to control like how many elements belong to this level we would never know where we should stop right so this size act as an indicator that where is my level gonna end right so it has told me that you have taken one element out that is 10 and you have one more element so he's controlling the level 
right so what we are going to do we are going to pop again so we are going to get the 12 now so 12 has a child that is um, 9 so we're going to put that and the, now size has told me that I am done for this level so we go to the top and we get the size again so this time when I go and get the size what I get is the size 3 and again so this loop will go on for 3 times so I pop out and get a 3 right so this 3 over here this 3 so it has no left child right child nothing to add this loop iterate one more time we we first should remove the th uh, 3 from here we get a 5 now so the 5 is out here and uh, just uh, check that 5 also is a left node nothing to add over here so it uh, takes out one more element so this is the last iteration for this level so we got a 9 and a 9 has 2 child 18 and 20 so we should add them in the right order so first 18 goes in and then 20 right and we are done with this uh, uh, with this loop and we are going back to the top again right so we check and no the queue is not empty we get the size and the size we get is a 2 right and uh, what we do uh, this loop will go on two times and we start uh, popping out elements from it the first time we pop out we get 18 so 18 comes out 18 doesn't have a left or the right child it's a leaf node so nothing uh, more to do over here we increment right um, the, for the second time we iterate for the second time and what we get is a 20 now so we get a 20 and we add 20's left child over here so we put 13 inside the queue so just see over here that this loop this loop over here this is acting just like a level controller right and this loop over here this this uh, the inner loop this is control uh, this is acting like a level element finder right so the top loop it tells me that you are at a certain level and the inner loop is telling me okay these are what uh, belongs to your level so this goes on so you see that every time we have got that indication from size that how many levels uh, how many elements are over here so this is this uh, second loop over here this is based on the size right it is based on that same parameter that we are getting right so right so we go to the top uh, the queue is not empty so let's go back to the code okay so we continue so what we do is we get the size again we get a 1 over here and when we pop out the element that we get is a 13 13 doesn't have a left child it has a right child so let's add the right child into the queue so 13 gets popped out and uh, what happens is this loop goes on so again you, you get a 1 over here so when you pop out you get a 22 from the queue so let me remove the 22 and uh, then what happens is I add the left child for 22 that is 21 and I go to the top again what happens I get a 1 I do a pop again from the queue I get a 21 I add the child for 21 but this time we see that 21 is a leaf nothing to add so 21 is already popped so now once we are done one when we come here what we see is that we have nothing left right we are done kind of the queue is empty so we know we have done traversing the entire tree so you can see over here at every level how our size has indicated at, and given us the elements right who is I'll tell you how we get the desired results over here okay so what what we wanted initially is a list of lists right so the, let's let us call them rest so what we are going to do is over here we are going to create a list every time before we start uh, this level element finder for this level we are going to create a new list of integer type and as we get all these data <coughs> we are going to add to this so we we have always got this elements right in this level so what we're going to do we need the integer now and we are not interested in anything and when we are done at the end what we are going to do is we are going to add to the result this r so we'll have a list of list of results at the end right so this is the algorithm all about i hope you got the idea why and how we are determining things and getting things done so easily right so do let me know if you have any question regarding any part of this algorithm and what we'll quickly do is we'll head over to the lead code and we will write the code for this problem so to start with what we need is a list of list of integers uh, this list is nothing but our output or our result that we are going to return back at the end of our, our program right so let this be an array list 
and we are going to return this at the very end of the program right so other than that what do we need is a queue of type uh, uh, tree node right not integer it's going to be a tree node so we'll be holding the nodes and let's call it a queue and this real link list implementation okay so we are going to add the root because we we have this element and we are going to continue iterating unless the queue is empty right so we will be iterating until the queue is empty so what we should do first is to get the size so we will get the queue dot size so this is the number of times we are going to iterate right and uh, the second thing that we should do is we should have a we should create a list of integers which will be holding the uh, result for that level that particular level right so i'll be uh, looping here just the size number of times because we know how many elements belong to this level and we should uh, traverse that many number of time only so now i am going to pull the elements out so i will do a queue dot pull and uh, as as i mentioned right so first we'll add to the list so uh, so we'll say node dot val so what we're going to do is we're going to first check the left so we'll say left not equals to null if the nodes left has a uh, child then we are going to add it to the queue right similarly we need to check the check for the right also otherwise we'll be unnecessarily adding the nulls and we'll end up with a null pointer exception and might not get the intended result okay so here we are we have added both the things over here so once we are out of this list uh, of this loop we'll we're going to add to the result and we are going to add this list over here right okay so one thing i just observe over here here i see that uh, you can get an empty list as well that root can be empty so let's put a preventive uh, preventive check for the same over here so if root equals to equals to null if you're not passed with anything that in that case you just return the result you don't need to do anything right so yeah this is uh, the code uh, here and there you might get some edge cases but overall this is this is the algorithm that we are talking about so yeah it's been accepted let's do a submit and uh, check so yeah it has been accepted um, it, it looks pretty decent to me though uh, it took zero millisecond to complete and almost uh, better than 100 and, and it's better than 100 percent of the submission we have a runtime complexity of order of n where n is the total number of nodes so basically we are touching all the nodes over here as many nodes are there we are touching so as we know that uh, in a tree what happens is uh, let me just uh, quickly capture it for you over here or let's call this level zero so 2 to the power 0 level 1 2 to the power 1 sorry level 1 level 2 so this will be 2 to the power of 2 so maximum 4 nodes so what happens is your space would be dependent on the level of the uh, tree the worst case scenario if it is full we go deals with the, the worst case scenario right we take the worst scenario so if your level is say the depth of the tree is 10 so you will have 2 to the power of 10 your uh, worst case so uh, your space requirement would be uh, max depth of the tree So whatever depth of the tree you have so let's say that is denoted by m so your space complexity would be 2 to the power of m so if you have two levels then it will be 2 to the power of m so 2 to the power of so you have three levels let's say so level 0 0 1 2 and 3 so in level 3 the worst that's possible is having 2 to the power of 3 that is eight nodes so that's the worst case condition that you'll be storing eight nodes inside your queue right at that point of time right so when we are add, when we are done adding for this level what will remain in our queue is all these nodes right all all these nodes will be present in the queue so that's going to be our space complexity to summarize the complexity what i would say for a runtime and for space let's put that together over here so for uh, runtime you'll have order of n but make sure you specify what is n over here so n is nothing but your number of nodes right and for your space what you have is a order of 2 to the power of m where m is the 
max depth of the tree, right? So this is going to be your complexity. I think it's been hidden behind me. So let me put it over here. Yeah, so these are your uh, complexity for uh, space and runtime. I hope you got the solution. You understand the problem now. You understand all the details. Do let me know if you have any queries please feel free to reach out to me. When I saw it the first time, even I had so many questions, even I, I, I was not aware what am I doing. So please feel free to reach out. Don't hesitate. Uh, do let me know in the comment. Do let me know if the solution was helpful. Uh, do like and subscribe if you think the solution is helpful to share with your friends as well. And uh, of course, do let me know in the comments. Okay, so that's all from this video. Do, uh, I'll see you soon guys again and um, see you guys. Bye-bye.